Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying the home run in. This is the uh, Sausage Classic Pizza. It was $6.99 at Meyer. It is a one pound, 14 ounce pizza. It says, of course, keep frozen. This is how it looks. It says our pizzas are partially baked and the cheese is melted, covering the sauce. So we have reviewed a couple of these. If you missed those reviews, I hope you watch them. Uh, we've reviewed the cheese and then we've also reviewed the pepperoni. So now this is just the sausage. Uh, but what you want to do is preheat your oven to 450. You want to, uh, it says bake it for 15 to 20 minutes. So actually I think this is the longest time we've had to bake one of these yet. Uh, we're going to go for the whole 20 minutes and then we'll be back. So this is how the pizza looks after 20 minutes. Looks perfect, does. Yeah, it looks awesome. This is the darkest one we've had yet. Uh, but this is also, to us, the best looking one yet because... Yeah, we like ours a little crispy. Yeah, we like it crispy. I mean, crispy cheese, yes, please. So, uh, Kevin's going to cut it into six pieces for it, <laughs> for even us. even pieces. <laughs> and uh, then we're going to take it over to the table and give it a try. This says... Our family came from Italy in the 1920s with a dream to connect people over pizza. In 1947, when they served square-cut snack-sized pizza at our Southside Chicago Tavern across from lo local baseball fields, the neighborhood was thrilled. It was love at first bite. The family dream came true, and the world of pizza was never the same. Years later, our same family recipe from 1947 is making its way throughout the country, and we couldn't be more proud. Staying true to our roots, we hope you open up a cold drink and enjoy your pie while watching the ball game with your family. It says, made from scratch, simple ingredients. Our family motto is simple. If we can't pronounce it, we won't use it. We take this one step further by making each of our pizzas from scratch daily, starting with our buttery flaky crust and finishing with premium all natural toppings. Simple ingredients that come from the farmers we trust. Uh, this, uh, they're made in Woodridge, Illinois. One sixth of the pizza is 400 calories. So each one of these slices is 400 calories. Approximately. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> www.homerunnpizza.com. 1,200 calories for half. Yes. Which is what we usually do. Yeah, we half it. Yes. Okay. Uh, this looks so good. Yeah, we, like, like I said, or like she said, uh, we'd like ours a little... Uh, toasty. Um, we like that little browned cheese. Mm. The cheese has got some crispiness to it. I, know. I like the seasoning um, on the sausage. I hadn't got the sausage yet. I was working all the way back. But that cheese, the end of my, the end of this piece had that brown cheese, mm -hmm. and it had a little uh, like crunchy crust on top. That um, sausage is nice and seasoned. Mm. It's not, I love sausage anyway, so this is probably a controversial statement, but a lot of people would choose, but given between breakfast sausage and bacon, they would probably pick bacon. I would pick sausage. I love sausage. Um, for me, there's nothing better than a, a biscuit with sausage and an egg and some cheese or even sausage links. I love sausage links. Um, bacon's good, but I like sausage, and that that's some good sausage. It's good, like Italian like sausage. Yes. There is that seasoning. I don't know what it's called, but they're little, like, brown. They're little black seed-looking things. Um, for the, They're just going to say seasoning. They're not going to tell you what kind it of It says are. oregano. No, that's not them. Okay. They're like little seed-looking things. They look like seed pods. Okay. Um... And the, anyway, you see them a lot on Red Baron pizzas. Yeah. They have a lot of them. I get that in that sausage. That sausage has those little, whatever those seasonings are. Yeah. And so, seeds. so do you like it? Oh, or I like them. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. No, they oh, didn't okay. overdo it. I just can taste them. Oh, um, okay. If you, Red Baron, I think, overdoes it. They put too many of them on. Mm. This they've done really nice. The sausage does have a really nice flavor. It's a good texture, mm. too. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Yeah, well, it's hot. You know. Heat hot. Every time we've, this is the third re review we've done mm -hmm. on these. And each time we've reviewed one, I try to keep the box 
of whatever because at the end of reviewing all of them um, I'm gonna decide what's my favorite because um, well we had the pepperoni and and we said the cheese was better than the pepperoni I think so so I got rid of the pepperoni box right but I've kept <laughs> the cheese box mm -hmm. and I've kept uh, I'm well I'm going to I'm definitely gonna keep the sausage box mm -hmm. but my question to you is which one do you like better, the just the cheese or the sausage the one? The sausage one. I do too. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm it, so glad we're on the same page. It's a lot more flavor to it, and I like it that it's we left it in the 20 minutes, which you probably could have done with the cheese. It just didn't okay. tell you that. Um, to get that little crunchy top to it, mm -hmm. it adds a lot of flavor to it. But that sausage is the pepperoni last night, or yeah, whenever we had it. Yeah. Um, it was not as strong a flavor. Because um, when you would get the, the pepperoni with the pizza, you really couldn't taste it. This sausage actually stands out as its own flavor, even when you're eating it with the pizza. So mm -hmm. it's, you know, it's got more flavor. And, to it. and even when you don't get the sausage, it's still really good. That did not change. So like, well, even after, like if we turned the video off and we had any additional thoughts or we changed our mind about something after we turned the video off, we would come back and tell you. Mm -hmm. That did not change. So... We both finished all three pieces of pizza, and that you never tasted, unless you ate that pepperoni by itself, you never tasted it with the cheese. So it's like, what's the point? Because it was 40 more calories. The cheese one is 400 calories a slice. This one is 400 calories mm -hmm. a slice. It's not worth the extra 40 calories if you can't taste no, but it. But this one you really can. Yes, you can. And then this is 400 calories. So. Mm -hmm. I love this. Really I good. think this is awesome. I would buy this again and again. Mm -hmm. And if you wanted to add your own, if you wanted to throw a couple of banana peppers on there or some daughter, olives or whatever, yeah. then you could. Our daughter, Ashley, she said, I always put banana peppers on mine. Mm -hmm. uh, she likes the banana peppers, and you could do that. You can add anything you want. Mm -hmm. I think it's perfect by itself. Oh, I do too. I'm just saying, yeah. if you want some veggie on there, then you could. Yep. Yeah, peppers I'll, or onions or I whatever. love this. So, uh, you'll have to let us know if you tried it and what did you think. Mm -hmm. We have one more to try. I'm really it's excited a meat about lovers, it. I think. It's a meat lover. So, I'm, I'm excited because I love a meat lover's pizza. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.